Let's just pay Squigs a little visit. There you go, Squigs. That's what we call hidden lighting. And look, I gave you some friends. Hey guys, this is Big Joe's Crab Shack back again playing some Minecraft. I'm oh. heading out currently to the <laughs> spot where I picked for putting the castle project that we're going to work on. And I'm going to clear out some trees, put down some chests, and hopefully move a whole bunch of stone over there today. And as soon as I can find it again, I think it was around like negative 4 or 500 or something like that. And I hope I'm going the right way. So I'm going to get back to you as soon as I find this. Okay. It's like hidden under the water. Ooh, there's a spawner. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Just, uh, gonna steal your stuff here. Alright, let's see what we got. Saddles. Very nice. Gunpowder. Useless. At least now that we have the mob spawner. Lots of iron. Bread. Redstone. I don't have any music discs yet, so that's a good find. And a bucket. Many people don't know. Buckets are the greatest find because buckets take three iron and I actually use a lot of them and I don't always have a lot of iron so I like finding buckets and probably be weird let's continue on with our journey as soon as I get out of this hole alright guys so I finally picked myself out of the hole and I'm pretty sure this is about the spot that I liked. Let's get a good old look of it. Ah, oh, those are planes. Why is nothing loading? There's that taiga biome that I was in before. Oh, let me get some food. Did not bring a lot of food. Aha! We will survive for years on this ever-growing spring. Now, let me see... I don't know. Where will I start? So I don't want to be too close to that taiga biome if I can help it. Um... Do, 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 do. I'm like Tarzan through the jungle. Alright. Get over here. That's alright, so this is about uh three hundred blocks in the this direction, whatever this is, north the northerly direction and I think this would be a good spot to start um, I might actually build this land out just a little bit more but think of this 
We've got this river running through here. It's kind of like a natural moat. I wouldn't have to uh, build, try and build a moat or anything like that, which I think would add a lot to the castle. It would be really cool to have one. And then possibly even have uh, the river running through the village and everything like that. That could be kind of cool. So I think I'm going to set up shop uh, right over here. What is, whoa, what is this? What do we have here? Oh, is this the stronghold? Oh, okay. Yep, that's a stronghold. Awesome. There's already another portal there. So that'll help a lot. Uh, it'll actually be a good spot for a castle then if I put the, the um, castle right here outside the stronghold. I must have lit that up. Let's see. I hate chopping trees. Just in case you didn't know. Absolutely hate chopping trees. So this is going to be a fun project. But I will do it for the castle. So if you guys have any uh, awesome names that I could name the castle or the village or something like that, that would be great. I really don't know yet. I don't seem to know a lot. Just kind of go with the flow. I think that usually works for me. So I'm going to chop some of these trees down. I'm going to put down some chests, put down some crafting tables. And probably kill myself a couple times. Don't know yet. Um, and then I'll get back to you. So I think I'm lost, guys. I wandered into the sugar cane farm. And I can't find my way out. Ah. Just kidding. I think it's over here. Booyah. Like a boss. This thing is ridiculous. Although I don't know why the uh, glowstone is down so low. I should have put it one block higher. Oh wow. Looks kind of cool. I have just logged in from a short break. I'm guessing that Squigs has found his little surprise. But this is just cruel and unusual punishment. Guys, this cannot stand. What kind of society have we come to? Do we, do we just block up people's windows and doors so that mobs spawn? No, that is not right. This just will not work. We're going to have to do something about this. Although nothing is actually spawned in here, so. But still, it is the principle. It is not right. Now I have to clean this mess up. Thanks a lot, Squigs. For just breaking down the moral society that we know. It is gone because of you. I hope you know that. Yes, you little mustache-wearing guy, you. Aha. Uh -huh. I know where you live. <whistles> dual screens is amazing, brah. Oh, I wish I had dual screens. <laughs> <laughs> scared, bro? What? You scared? <laughs> Just a little bit. Hello? I have invented something I think you will find quite useful. Yeah, I saw... What is this here? Uh, 1.9 proof item elevator sends items through blocks. I'm looking at it now. Is most of that stuff just like a timing circuit? <laughs> uh, um... Most of it is, yeah. You see the comparator coming off one of the, uh, those, those are, uh, droppers, not dispensers. I see. But you see the one comparator coming off of that? Yeah. First of all, I'm having trouble figuring out how to place it. Behold. Yeah. 
the mighty X, the mother of all mobs, the spawner of all spawners. We behold eggs? its power. Like, like eggs and bacon? Yes, like eggs and bacon. Ah. <laughs> oh, is he gone? All right, I'm getting dizzy now. Careful now. Don't fall over. Ooh. I feel so terrible for laughing at you, but it was hilarious. All right, I'm going to retry that. I think the lag, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 Stupid blame lag. the lag. Whoa, there's, there's a hole in the ground. Why is this chunk not loading? Um, You're not funny. Man, this is really lagging bad now. Alright. Sorry. Very, ouch. Very carefully. If it's me. I don't think it's you. I think it's just this this spawner in general. It's like, ugh. Now it's better. Alright. Very gently. Woo! Woo! We it's go. already working! By the way, this has no shutoff switch. I should warn you. Okay. Let's see, did I get? I did get some of your stuff. That one's mine. I was gonna say you should have a sword. Sword you've got, I think. I don't have a sword. I threw it. Oh. Yeah, okay. I don't have a Where sword. Where did it go? What did you do? <laughs> My sword. I covered up a lot of the re the redstone. I'm afraid. Ah! Uh, I think I broke something. I broke something else. Um. You broke stuff? Huh. Oh, no. I think it got caught by one of the hoppers. Looking. No. Ha! Found it! Ah, ah, ah. ah, there we go. Here's some redstone that I broke. Hold I feel on, like this went here and up. this went there. Wait, what? What did where? The what and the who now? What? Yeah, it works. <laughs> um, let me refer. The timings on all the things are very crucial. Oh. I just want to make sure. Uh, that's a good timing right there. That I thought would be really handy to have is a little bridge going across here. Uh, right now I'm just kind of like hopping across the trees and I always end up falling and it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to put kind of like a hanging swinging bridge uh, that goes across here over to my place and uh, I think it'll save a lot of time, and a lot of people will probably use it. Hopefully. Uh, so let's get out the old Henry. And, oh. Well, that stunk. Alright, so. I think I would like to make it out of oak. Let's get a crafting table real quick. And get me some more oak. Some slabs. I uh, might want some stairs. That probably just work with this for now. So should I make it two or three wide? Probably three would be better. So let's like that. And then since this is going to be a hanging bridge, let's find out how far down it should go. Uh, right there is the middle. I don't want it to hang too low. So... Maybe like that. Man, this this mob farm we've got, it works great, but the frame's just torn up every time it fires. So I apologize for that. 
but there's somebody using it right now. Otherwise, I'd just go turn it off. All right. So let's do that. Can I get over here? Maybe do one of these. And something like that. So I kind of want to go for like a nice gradual down and then back up. Um, maybe that's too low. Let's see. Yeah, that's way too low. All right, well, let's just chop it up here. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. And... Look at that. I don't know, there's somebody high in the tree. And... Go over here. Alright. So let's try that. Let's just see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the uh, lack of videos that I've had. Uh, I know I don't have a lot of people that watch them, but uh, some people do. So I apologize for not getting uh, more out. Let's see here. I've been pretty busy lately. Um, that's a pretty good swing. Okay. Oops. Let us stick a block here and start going back up. I like doing these swinging bridges, but I have such a hard time trying to figure out the best way to do it sometimes. So let's see how this turns out. I might actually switch this out for spruce or maybe dark oak. Um, so I don't want it to stick out too much. I want it to kind of look a little more natural than what it does. Uh, but I might end up just sticking with this too. Okay, so that's a pretty nice looking bridge. And look, we even have a dancing spider. He's so happy to be on it. So let's get up here. And I'm going to see if we can do something, some kind of support or something like that. So I got these uh, spruce logs. Can we stick them like this? Or is that too narrow? It is pretty narrow. I think I'd like it to be... Uh, for horses too, so why don't we uh, stick them like this and ooh, um, do I have any dirt? I have dirt right there. Alright, so let me stick another pillar up like this. And then maybe like that. Does that work? Kind of. So I don't really want the the fences going down the side here because you end up with something like this and then I don't know it just kind of looks weird to me so I probably won't do that 
Unless you guys think that would look better. Um, but I think I'm just going to do something like this. Uh, might stick another support under there. Can I reach that block? Oh, no, I can't. Never mind then. Uh, we'll just get rid of this. Alright, so I might just do something like that on both sides. So let's run over here. And... Ah. That farm again. Let's do that. Do that. We need to get rid of this tree. Always getting rid of trees. Good thing we're in a forest, right? I think I've created the world's worst lag machine. This is this is terrible. Okay. Let's get rid of this. I might do some stairs coming down here. The bridge. Alright, so let's put some dirt up so I don't have to make this thing as big. Bruce logs. I don't need those fences. And get some more spruce logs here. All right. And then Alright, just like that. So I can deal with that. There's a bridge. Bridge is done easy, guys. That's how you do it right there. It literally took like less than five minutes. Okay, let's move on and get some stuff over to the castle real quick. So we're back here at the castle build location. Um, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work just tearing out some of these trees. Is this facing the right way? I don't know. Anyway, so this is probably going to be the front of the castle here. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to build out some of the land. This is my little build shack. I love it so much. All right, so maybe not so much. Not a big fan of birchwood, but that's all I had, so I don't know, this kind of works. I like it. It's going to be torn down uh, once I get the walls up anyway, so. Now all I'm using this for is some storage space. And boom. So much, so much stuff. Actually, I'm going to put this over here. Get rid of this wood out of here. And put the wood down there. Where did I get this iron from? Uh, we'll pop that in there. Okay. So, I think I'm going to start putting up some of these walls. And, actually, I'll probably just start with the main door. That would be a good idea. Start with the main door. And then I will show that to you guys on the next episode. But, this one's running a little bit long, so I'm going to have to end it here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, we got a little bit of stuff done today. And like I said, I can't put up a bunch of videos, but I hope you do enjoy what I can do. So, thank you again for joining me on the Garlovedon's Day and Server today. This has been Big Joe's Crab Shack, and I will see you guys next time.